guys, it's me again. Did you miss me? I missed you guys. Well, I just want to fill you in on a few things. I'm very proud of myself because in the past three weeks, I've lost 21 pounds so far. And when I go back to my doctor, I think on the 23rd, I'll find out how much more I lost. Um, tonight at the gym, I'm so excited. I did this exercise thing called the pec deck or lateral laterals or whatever. It's a machine. Um, you sit down on it and you put your, it's got these log looking things, cushion log looking things. <laughs> and you put your feet, your knees underneath it and then there's a bar above you and you have to pull them down. Well, I did um, five rep repetitions of, wait a minute, yeah, five repetitions of 45 pounds. Then I did five reps of 50 pounds. Then the same thing with uh, 75 and three 100 pounds. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm going to have no more flabby arms and... Or I hope. That's my get that's my goal is to not have any more saggy arms and saggy other things. <laughs> you can use your imagination. I wanna um I don't wanna look like an old fart anymore. I wanna get into good shape. I wanna be able to stand up at the beach <laughs> without rolling over um and tumbling into the surf. Which happened again. Um, and it is on Angel Deb 51, I mean Angel Deb 58 1 on YouTube. Um, anyhow, that I did. I rode for seven and a half miles on the bike. And um, trying to think of how they calculated it. I don't know, but I. I rode for over a half an a half an hour, um, at least. That was the first thing I went on, and then I did uh, these things where you take the bar and you pull them front and back and front and back like that. Um, those are called lat pull downs. That's what my husband said. No, I think he's got them confused. Yeah, no, that's the one I did. The lat pull downs is the one that I did the hundred pound. I pulled down a hundred pounds on that, and the seventy five, fifty, and forty five. Um, on the pec deck, pec deck, those I did several um, reps of ten each, and I did it at fifty pounds reps. Me, little old me. Can't believe it. Can you? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm so ecstatic about it. And and now I'm having a snack. See? I know, my cousin Tracy's going to kill me because it's pickles <laughs> and pickled squash. I love my squash. Squash is good for you. I know. My brother-in-law is going to say, what, no kale? No kale tonight. But I had a really good dinner. I made salmon um, for Sean and I, because it was just him and I. And we love that stuff. And I noticed there was a recipe on the bag, and it said to use nutmeg and salt and pepper. And um, a little bit of sugar. Which I, I was like, what? Sugar and celery salt. And I, I was kind of perplexed about that. So I figured, what the heck, I'll put that on underneath my spices that I, my normal rub. And it was delicious. But on top of it, I also put Italian cheese, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> we, I had a conversation about this with um, Carrie's boyfriend's mama and um, about parmesan cheese and stuff like that anyway it was delicious 
takes no time at all to cook. One, two, three, and I had we had just mashed potatoes on the side. Real quick mashed potatoes, instant. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. Um, and then you know we we ate. We went to the gym. We got back about twenty after twelve tonight. It was really late, but we're gonna go back Friday. And I can't wait. I really can't wait. Before it was like, oh, God, we got to go to the gym. Who wants to go to the gym? Especially at my age. But I'm going to be like that little engine that could. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And if I black out, I'll just say, I think I can wake up. I think I can wake up. I think I can wake up. And if not, I'm going to pray that my husband will wake me up. So... Anyway, you know, I, I've i been thinking, yeah, I have different nationalities, but we pretty much go by our Italian family roots, and why is it that Italians have a uh, mustache, mustaches, the girls do, women, Ch chin hair, I'm lucky because mine turned white. <laughs> Except that if you turn to the side sometimes, it looks fuzzy, like white fuzz. It's not fair. So you have to sit and pluck and tweeze and pluck and tease. Tweeze, not tease. We get the dark, bushy eyebrows, the frizzy hair, you know, just... I think I was born with frizzy hair. I must have come out with an afro. <laughs> but, like, no matter what you do with it, it stays. Look at that. It's my weave. And my girls have such, like, my son has hair like me. He's got, like, this, well, I won't say, because he'll get mad. But you've seen pictures of him. I put some on here the other day. Um... Oh, look, I look like a little Amish woman. How are you doing? How's everybody doing? I can let you come in the house, but we don't have any light. We only use candles. I don't even know if they have company. I suppose they do. I know they have... They put up barns. I'll have to ask my cousin Louise. She lives up in Pennsylvania, and there's a lot of Amish people up there. <laughs> I don't know how I got to that subject. Anyhow... Um, we went to my uh, daughter's boyfriend's parents' camper on the lake, Lake James, the other day. Wonderful, wonderful people. They remind me of Ozzy and Harriet. <laughs> Spencer's going to kill me. No, they were the nicest down-to-earth people. What a relaxing day. The water, sitting out there looking at the lake was just so beautiful um, and it brought back such good memories beautiful memories of growing up with my parents and we'd go to Keene Lake and everything only this was a huge lake it's really beautiful and they wanted me to go on the pon their pontoon and I wouldn't go on it for reasons that some of you know about but the next time I'm going to go on it. And all of a sudden, there was no rain at all that day. But there was a beautiful rainbow. And it's in the pictures that I put up. I don't know if you all can see it. But it was so pretty. It just came out of nowhere. Just like up and over the, you know, the trees. Anyhow, it turned out Sean knew a lot of people that, um... Carrie's boyfriend knew, uh, father's, Carrie's boyfriend's father knew, and, um, I sat and talked to his grandma and his mom, her, her name is Dee Dee, and the father's name is Al, Alan, they have lovely, lovely boys, really respectful guys, couldn't ask for better kids, and their daughter-in-law is just a wonderful sweet heart and she's funny she's really funny and the grandma 
Oh my gosh, she, she is so funny. Please say prayers for her. Just do that. And also, I want you to say um, an unspoken prayer for me. Not for me. For somebody else that we know. Just say an unspoken prayer. Anyway, I hope you all had a great Labor Day weekend. And I hope this weekend will be nice for you. I'm going to go on a date with my husband this weekend after we work out. We're going to bring some clothes with us to the gym. They have a nice shower there. You can have a massage. You can go in the tanning bed, which I won't be doing because of that sun poisoning. I am still peeling. Still peeling. Can you believe it? I can believe it because that's how stupid I am. <laughs> um, anyhow, I'm, I've missed being on here and I don't know what else to talk about. Except that my grandbabies are getting bigger and more and more beautiful. God bless them. And this house is so different without them here. Uh, gosh, love them. Love those babies so much. Helena, she's at that age where she's going to tell Grammy what to do now. And I couldn't... Uh, oh, one thing. I gave her some paper because she wanted to draw. So I, I like to draw, and I have a drawing book. So I gave her some blank pages of paper, and she's drawing me pictures, and she's telling me this is me, and this is Papa, and so on and so forth. And I said to her, Helena, what happened to the eraser? She said, what, well, Grammy? And I said, where did the eraser go? I said, did you bite this? And she said, she said, mm-hmm, I ate it. I said, you ate the eraser? She said, uh-huh, I, I swallowed it. I said, oh, you swallowed the eraser? What, why would you do something like that? You know better. She said, because I, I wanted a snack. And <laughs> Only Elena would do that. But I'm a worry wart when it comes to my kids and my grandbabies. Um... <laughs> And I had to tell Kelly tonight about it because she might find something <laughs> when poor Helena goes to the bathroom. Thank God she didn't choke on it. And it was a little, 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 little eraser. Thank God. I'd have had a coronary. But it, that's my life. My life is filled with silly, stupid little things. Yep. That's how it is. And I can't wait for my friend Renee to get back from her cruise. I hope they're having a blast. Her and La. Larry. La. Come back, La. And Renee. I want Renee to ask her daddy to give me some fresh vegetables from his big garden he has. And it was my niece's birthday, Samantha Green. So shout out to her. It was Monday. Um, so I'm late. But I did put a cake on her page. And I love her dearly. And congratulations to Michelle and Jeff on their new place. Um, and I hope Linda's having fun because she's still camping. Which I know she likes to do in the mountains. Okay, well, everybody, I love you guys. And everybody have a safe rest of the week. And have a great weekend. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye-bye.